So folks, this is the result. As you can see, I can charge the bow like this and uh, secure it here in, on the back, in, on the secure pin. I just have to load this on the top and take a shot here on the grass. A few weeks ago, I found next to the garbage this old chair. First, I thought about I can do nothing with it. After watching better these metal tubes, I thought, well, let's make a very strange bow. So let's begin with the tutorial, taking a screwdriver and took apart all the components of the chair. We end to have four pieces, 170 centimeters, 145 and 229 centimeters. We need to drill a 8 mm hole inside these 14 mm wide metal tubes. These are the hole distance in each component. Let's see the assembling sequence of the bow, the green part and the blue parts. I remember you that 55 centimeters is the distance between the blue parts. I need to buy four little pulleys. These are 6 cm wide and these are 2 cm wide. Using a drill I will remove the small rivet that hold the pulley in place. So using my finger I remove the rivet and this is the result. Let's take the green tube and inside the holes I showed you earlier let's put these metal screws. I put in place also the pulleys and two metal washer will stop everything. Now take a, a small screw and a screwdriver and uh, screw it inside until it stops in the end. Let's see the cross section between the red uh, tube and the green tube. I drill all, all, all the way through it and I push a bolt and I secure it with a nut. This can be enough to stop the things together but I will use a professional T-take welder. I just have to regulate the power of it and start to weld the two components together so that I'm sure that it doesn't twist or move when I shoot with the bow. Let's take the blue tubes, the 29 centimeters long ones and I, this time I drill a little bit a smaller hole in it so that I can push using um, a press uh, the bolt all the way through. I did this just because I don't want the bolt to be shaky or move around, just to have uh, a movement of these arms much more uh, sturdy. As you can see, I put also the big uh, pulleys on the front. Let's take a spring. I took this one that was from a bed, but you can use any type of uh, loading system, also a rubber band, for example. I took this uh, two and a half long, two and a half meters long steel cable. This was just from my regular bike uh, brakes. Let's see how I did this process. Here there was already a stopper, and I I just uh, secure it here inside the hole. I go around the left pulley, go on the top around the big spring. Now I go again back inside around the other pulley and inside here I drill two holes. Here as you can see I put this. This is an, a steel cable stopper so I just have to stop the cable inside it. I, this process is done. As you can see when I push the the two arms together I activate the spring. It's very important to stop it here because this activates the bow. Now that uh, we are sure that the stopper doesn't move we can continue to push uh, to pull the steel cable all around the other pulleys. So let's see on the right pulley we continue to pull it until it come until, uh, until it uh, arrive on the left one and I stop it I stop it here I drill another hole I don't represent these holes in the schematic I show you earlier I just have to pull the steel cable inside as you can see each time I pull the cable I activate the um, the system I use another steel cable stopper to stop the cable in place as you can see there is a big gap between the steel cable and the metal tube so I, I will use a piece of wood to, um, to make the things uh, be much better. I, make, I take a metal wire and I twist it all the way around the steel cable. I drill a hole here and I, pull, I push a nail through it. I will cut it uh, one and a half long centimeters. I take another uh, little nail and I push it through. I take a two or three centimeters long spring, 
put it on the nail and secure it using this uh, uh, copper cable electrician uh, connector and with a screwdriver I secure it in place. I took a piece of aluminum and I take make this shape so each time that I push the nail on the back I activate the system. So let's have some fun! Okay, first we need are some rollerblade or skateboard wheels. We have to take the ball bearings outside, so push them out is very easy. We have to collect 24 ball bearings, so put them apart. And now we need two metal plates that have big holes on the top 